Hi, I'm Sonia and Georgia Vimpress. This is a collective reading, tarot reading, don't try and force grand fit my belong to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's the universal crown. So only take what resonates and leave the rest of someone else and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. You might be full of energy and excited about what's coming up. So let's see what we have for you now. This is a collective reading for Taurus. Welcome Taurus. Oh, let's see what we have for you. Page of Swords. Somebody's watching. Somebody is watching somebody that's working very hard. Somebody is putting so much work in here. Somebody could be studying. And somebody here is enjoying watching. Just watching quietly, it looks like. But at the same time, they look like they're actually feeling out in the cold. Someone feels abandoned. Somehow there's somebody that's been left out and that's this person that's watching. So this is somebody that's working very hard. The challenge here is there's somebody who is very attractive. Somebody is really attracted to somebody here. This is um, divine masculine energy. Somebody who could be a Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. Somebody that is, there's so much attraction here. There is so much exuberance. Someone that is very bubbly and fun and kind of quite good looking. Someone is watching this Queen of Swords. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is somebody who is a very good communicator. There is somebody here who can speak the truth and cutting out whatever they need to with their sword. Someone has very strong boundaries. Somebody is watching. There is a lot of watching in this reading. So somebody here is this person again who look, could be younger. This could be a young energy. This is that somebody here is watching. And it looks like that there's somebody that's watching. It looks like they're watching this masculine energy. Or it could be that this masculine is watching this feminine. Whatever this is, somebody's watching somebody. So we have some sort of attraction. And we also have this air sign, which is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody who's very strong, very good at communicating. This is somebody that's also very intelligent. So this is a fire sign who there's so much attraction and so much watching. Somebody is enjoying watching somebody here because we have two cards here of somebody that's pretending they're not watching <laughs> this is the double confirmation this is somebody who's interested maybe they want to speak some truth here pages could they maybe could be wanting to send some messages to somebody that they've been watching anyway distant past we have walking away you walked away from something here it looks like you could have walked away from somebody oh this could be a boss energy this is that you've walked away and you've become financially stable. You've had to walk away from something. Or it looks like that there's, you've had to, maybe you've had to walk away from some sort of earth sign energy. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And it's also started a new cycle. So you walked away from somebody in the past. They could have been a father, father energy, a boss energy. They could be somebody that is good with their money. They're a hard worker. And then, so you walked away. And started a new cycle. The recent past, we have the sort of truth. So some sort of truth has come out here. We have seven seven. So this is actually some sort of pay rise, climbing up the ladder. Like you maybe have worked very hard, and now this is like you planted the seed. You're wanting, to, you know, things are starting to grow, and you're seeing the truth of things. Maybe it's a double-edged sword. We some truth has been spoken. And this is also these illusions, confusion. There's a lot of options. You don't know what you really want. So you need to decide what is it you really want. Because there is so many options. You don't know which way to go. So you're thinking about, your thoughts are about some kind of star. This is a star energy, somebody that's shining. You're thinking about somebody that, maybe you're thinking about wish fulfillment. Or you're needing to do some healing about something. But also this is Aquarius energy. There's some kind of painful ending that you've had stabbed in the back multiple times. And so you're healing from this, it looks like. This is also some sort of justice. This is a justice system. You're thinking about a, some kind of court situation, maybe. There's some kind of painful ending. You're kind of hoping for some sort of balance now. And also that this is the star. So you actually got the star of the show. is like you're the star of the show, of your show. 
And this looks like that this could be a court situation you're dealing with. Or you're becoming balanced after some kind of um, ending. And it's also that you're getting more balanced. And you're actually shining. You're starting to shine from within. So the future here, we have the strength. So you're actually becoming very strong. So you really are kind of are becoming something here. This is Leo energy as well. And you're actually bossing up and looking amazing, glowing. So this is this counterpart match to this person that we have in the challenges. So the, this is actually a match. These two are up here. So you're actually moving into calmer waters and you're actually starting to glow up. So this is attractive energy. This is where you start to attract everything towards you. That you, you could be a feminine energy, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. This is somebody that's very good looking, has some powerful energy to manifest things and also that you're glowing. So you're actually quite exuberant. You know, this is quite attractive energy. So you're attracting things towards you. Things are actually getting more balanced out. Bridge over troubled waters. You know, this is a bit of balance. This is actually like things are actually starting to get a lot better. So your fears, your fears are judgment. You're fearing that somebody, it's like a new cycle that's beginning. You're sort of fearing about a new cycle and starting over. But this is also that judgment. So it's like your rewards are coming in for your good work that you've done. You're ready to take a leap of faith, but you're kind of like stuck. So you've got fears about moving forward and you've kind of like got reservations. You know, you're, you're ready to take a leap of faith, but the, you've also got that blindfold on. So you need to take off that blindfold and kind of like really decide what you want because it looks like there's a new cycle that's starting but you need to make some decisions whether you take that leap of faith or not make some decisions which way you want to go other people see you as starting a new job or a new kind of pathway this is some sort of new beginning oh we have this person again this is leo sagittarius and aries again so they could be seeing you as this masculine energy you could be quite you know maybe you're kind of getting a new beginning just going towards um another energy who could be a fire sign this is also somebody is having a sort of shake up and it looks like there could be some kind of shake up in your world some maybe you kind of like your glow up is giving other people a bit of a shock because this is a shocking event something is being built on faulty foundations so things are starting to crumble and this it looks like it's an entrepreneur, maybe. You've got a new beginning. But you're needing some kind of shake-up is coming in to kind of shake things up for you. So that it, And it's like that sometimes the tower comes in to make you have to rebuild and re-sort of structure. Your hopes. You're hoping for some kind of stuck energy. You're stuck in a self-imposed prison. You know, kind of like not really making a decision. Take off that blindfold and cut yourself free because it looks like you're just staying stuck. You have some kind of trickery and thievery. You're going from the 7 to the 8, it looks like, with kind of tricky situations. It looks like you need to learn a lesson as well, because it looks like this is some kind of liar, cheater, stealer. You're hoping that somebody's going to stay in a self-imposed prison, it looks like. Maybe you're going to, you're hoping that you can be freed from some self-imposed prison or some sort of trickery and thievery. But it looks like slowly but surely things are starting to move forward. You're moving forward slowly. So you're hoping things can get easier, and it looks like it is, because you're going to be slowly working on things there. So the outcome is, oh, the Emperor, this is this is an amazing energy. This is the most beautiful king in the deck, somebody who embodies all the kings of the deck. This could be Aries energy, somebody, this is like stability. You're getting stability, and this is something you manifested. And also that you have amazing wealth. This is generational wealth coming in here. This is awesome wealth and it's something you manifested, also divine masculine energy and also that you're moving forward and possibly you're getting a new car or something. You're moving forward. You've got this amazing wealth here. This is a balanced relationship with the divine masculine, Aries energy and also something you manifested. So look at that. That is beautiful. You've got, you're moving forward but there's some sort of watching. I'm just wondering what this watching is. What is this page of swords please? What is this page of swords? Oh, okay. Oh, we have this masculine again. So this is double confirmation. This is somebody who's watching, possibly. They could be an Aries. But there's a bit of defensiveness and also some kind of focusing on this disappointment. So there's somebody who's watching who feels a bit sad. They feel like they've kind of missed it out on something and they're crying over spilt milk. So this is somebody who could be an Aries who's watching <coughs> and actually they feel a bit sad. 
oh, you know, this is defensiveness as well. They feel defensive. And also, this is that they're crying over spilt milk. Someone's missed out and they're sad about the cups that they've chosen, leaving out a beautiful soulmate. Somebody here is watching and they're defensive as well. So, very interesting, whatever that is. Leave a comment or, you know, like, share, tell me whatever you think. And please let me know if this resonates. All right, bye.